Hello guys, hello, shalom people, shalom. I'm just trying to make sure that, you know, I'm trying to, you know, I'm just trying to set my camera here. I'm trying to charge my phone while I'm doing this at the same time. So, bear with me, bear with me. I probably should have done this before I started the video, but you know, you know, it doesn't fucking matter. You know what, maybe I'll just hold it, <clears throat> switch hands and all that shit after before my arm gets fucked up, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is, this is bad hell, but, if I can put my afro here and all that, anyways, so I've been watching some videos of the Iron Giant, if you haven't seen the movie, watch it now, however you get the chance, or get the book, I recently got the book in the mail, and it does have the movie poster. It doesn't have the poster from the book. It's funny that every time this book gets re-released, they put the movie poster version. To me, that's kind of false advertisement. Because look at this cover. That doesn't happen in the book at all. <clears throat> kind of loud, where's the dragon? There's not one picture of the dragon in this book. I had to fucking draw it in here, to be quite honest. And it's a it's a very famous uh picture. Uh, let me see. This. I drew that. I don't know if you can see it. But this, that's what I drew. Because it's a beautiful picture. And the fact that this picture is not in this book is a crime. Maybe it's in the other books. But at least this copy of it, it's not. So I might get another copy the uh, more physical version, um, I mean, it, this is a physical version, more hardcover version of it, so, and it's, and it's more anyways, but I don't mind paying for that one, uh, I was going to pay for it anyways, but, um, I decided to find something cheaper, um, just to read it for us and everything like that, but, uh, at least I have it, and I did put a quote, um, in here, and the reason this is an enlightenment video, guys, is because you guys need to pay attention to what I'm <laughs> going to say soon. So, the re and the reason why in the beginning of the video, I literally say you guys got to watch the movie and read the book. Either way, do it, because it still has the same message apply in both movie and book. But, um, the whole concept of Iron Giant was was the guy that was like, what if a gun had a soul? And what does gun have? Guns have bullets. And when you use the bullets, what's it gets backed up on? Calvin. This motherfucker know this Ted Hughes knew the fuck what he knew the fuck what he was doing, man. He knew he knew what sorry. He knew what the fuck he was doing, man. He knew what he was doing. I ain't stupid. You can see it. You can see it when you hear the story about it. <coughs> um, and I I wrote some notes down. Notes. Get a tongue twisted here. I wrote some notes down. I wonder if it's here. Yeah, it is here. And I haven't read the whole book, so bear with me here because I wanted to write the um a few things. When I hold the, I want to write a few notes down when I read the whole book, but I might make a part two to this anyways, but, um, I did see some reviews about the book, so I will mention that, and I want to mention, um, was it Gina Marie? I want to mention her real quick. Not so long ago, she made a video talking about the sun and she saw a dragon coming from the sun. If you read the Iron Giant book, you know what that fuck you you will be like what? So I'll put that video of Gina Marie in the description box if you don't fucking goddamn believe me. She sees it, and at first I didn't see it either, and then she paused it, and I literally saw it, and I'm like, that's literally a dragon. That's literally a dragon. Um, it's its face. Some people might be like, where's its body? You you see its face while the the while the sun is bursting with its um. Kundalini energy, um, the the crown chakra energy, basically, um, corona chakra. The um, there, there's a, a dragon face coming out, you know. Um, so when 
when I heard that from Gina Marie, it's funny because I was getting into the um, I was getting in to the Iron Giant stuff, especially with the book. And when I found out there was a dragon in the book, and Iron Giant kind of like challenges him, they don't fight, but they challenge each other to see who could be the who could take the the highest temperature. And the dragon comes from space. It's called a space. It's called a space dragon space space bat dragon some shit like that it's 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 a long name i'm I, when i heard that name i looked at my friend like and my friend looked at me like the fuck the the name is long but space dragon bat something um i know some people some people are going to fucking kill me here um I'm sure it's in this book. I just don't want to spend a whole bunch of time literally finding it. So, there is that. I do want to say that right now. So, um, I don't know if I set this quote that was on the back of this book that I wrote, but if I didn't, if I did, I'm sorry, but hey, I'll say it again. This is the quote that I put in the book, and this is from my Godzilla movie. When mankind falls into conflict with nature, monsters are born. So... And that's true. And that makes so much sense with this movie and, I mean, well, the book and the movie. So, so some of the notes that I did wrote down um, before I go back to the dragon. Actually, no, let's talk about the dragon real quick before I do forget about that. Since I have the notes and it will just remind me. The dragon comes from a planet. It could, I think it's, I, I think it's Mars, but it, it People start seeing the dragon. Then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And sooner or later, the dragon. And sooner or later, everyone sees the dragon. And then the dragon comes, and it's literally like hit the dragon's feet can touch the mountains. That's how big this dragon was. It was gigantic. It was bigger than Iron Giant himself. All right. So. The military, there's a kaiju fight in this, in this, uh, well, there's a military versus kaiju in this book, which is awesome, which is awesome. You know, when, when I found that out, I was like, yeah, I'm getting this book or just for that alone, I'm getting that book. And I broke down some of the Iron Giant stuff, which I'm going to go to these notes soon. And the whole dragon stuff just resonated with me. A lot of stuff in this book resonated with me, you know, and again, I'll go back to the notes soon. And the the whole concept when I heard about the dragon that Gina Marine talked in about a dragon and, and the sun, I'm just laughing my ass off. I'm like, you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. That's why I've that's why I've said that every time I say something, things happen. Or when I discover things, things happen around me. Now, going back to what I said before, my friend has mentioned that yeah, because you levering up basically, and I'm not going to disagree with him. All right, I'm not going to disagree with them, but there's another factor too. When you in tune with yourself so much, that is why you are levering up and you seeing things that are happening. But at the same time too, you got to take the factor too that you create your own reality. Okay? We're in the Truman Show, people. I've told you this before. That's why when shit like that with Gina Marie or what happened at the Capitol, that's why shit like that, I'm all like the... F it's it's a it's a it's a show. It's a human show, man. That's why when you go in the astral realm and you do stuff, some people might be like, "Oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. that's fine." But when you see the results in the physical realm, look, everyone's different around here. That's fine. But when I do stuff in the astral realm and I see it in the physical, I'm all like, "Yo, that's how powerful I am." Know thyself. Know thyself. People are different. If you don't have that experience or you haven't experienced it, that is fine. I'm not telling you that you're dumb or stupid for not experiencing it. I'm just telling you what I experience, right? Because because sometimes when you tell people this, they'll be like, well, screw you. It's not like that. I'm like, what are you talking about? I had that experience. Your experience is different from mine, man. That's why I was going to do a whole like video from about what I was going to talk about with masturbation, basically. But... That's why I didn't want to make a video about it because a lot of people would be like, oh, this and that. And I'm like, have you experienced it? No. So stop talking shit if you haven't experienced it. If you have, okay. If you haven't, then you haven't. 
stop talking shit that the fact that someone experienced it and you didn't. Too fucking bad. It's like saying, oh, I looked at the sun and I haven't been blind from the sun. And then you go and tell a brother or sister that, they'll be like, oh, no, you can't look at the sun, you get blind. <laughs> Am I stupid enough to tell my brother and sister the truth? Or are they stupid enough for not fucking seeing it? Oh, but when you look at the sun, I'm like, yeah, because you're not looking at it. <laughs> no shit, you eyes, you guys have, you eyes need to be adjusted. Have you guys never heard of these words? That's why I have a problem with people. Some people just want to be like, oh no, to this and that, because of what these orcs say. And I'm all like, do you guys ever tested it or find out for yourself of what these orcs say? No, you haven't. You just listen to what these orcs say and you move the fuck on. You don't even fucking research. You just want to fucking play video games and smoke weed all day. You don't want to go outside. Look, I, I smoke weed and I play video games, yeah. But at least I go outside and I meditate and I research. I I, 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 I pay my dues, basically. Alright? And, and I'm building shit, too, you know? It's like, come on, man. That's just me, man. That's just me. Again, experience, man. Just experience, man. So, again, that video of Gina Marie talking about a, a dragon in the sun, I'll put it in the description box. It just caught my gears going since the book has a dragon in it and it comes from like a red planet or like a bright planet. I'm saying it's probably the sun or, or Mars, but it's most likely Mars. Um, you know how they like to use Mars. And and it's true that the, the dragon does kind of act like Wicked-ish. But the dragon only responded like that because the humans, the orcs, were, were rebelling and warring against an iron giant. So he was just doing... What these motherfuckers were doing, he's basically, he, he was basically being a, a heyonka, basically. He was being a mirror to, to show the military people that you, what you're doing is wrong, and you're not seeing it, because you know what I'm doing is wrong, right? So why you're not paying attention to you doing the same thing? Oh, but you came to our planet and all this shit, la la la. Like, you don't know the dragon's backstory. You don't even know the Iron Giant's backstory. You know? Like, in, in, in the movie, Iron Giant is depicted as, like, you know, he's from outer space. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's in the, you know, if that was, like, hinted in the book. Because, I ha again, I haven't read the whole thing. And, yes, he's not, and, yes, he just comes out of nowhere in the book. Which, again, I'm, I'm like... Like, I'm, I'm on page 10, people, so I already know that, you know? So, and, and in the movie, he just comes from space, so. And people have mentioned that maybe they take place both at the same time period, or, or like, yeah, different giants, same person named Hulk, well, same, different people, but same names of Holgar, and different giants, and different situations of what happened. One is in America, the other one's in UK, and the one that's in the UK has a giant dragon coming. In the UK. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Oh, I want to say this, too. When I was in a field trip yesterday, before I get more into this, I was in a field trip yesterday. A brother and I were talking about all this stuff, you know, about the awakening, about what these elites are doing and everything like that, you know, dream coming and shit. And we have a sister here that's a teacher. And I and I just, I remember telling the brother, I'm like, well, what do you expect? She's a teacher. And she, we told her all of this stuff. And she's like, and laughing a little bit too, like, you acting like this is not real. I even told her like, children are missing like every year everyone always wonders why children are missing blah 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 you know am I are you something wrong with my eye hold on guys sorry guys 
<laughs> I thought something was wrong with my eye. No, it's not. It's just the light. <laughs> I'm looking at my eye. Because I'm like, what the fuck am I looking at? It's just the lighting. My god. Fucking stupid as fuck. I'm looking um because I'm all like, what the fuck? Because my eye has been like bothering me lately, so I just I thought I fucked my eye up. I'm like, oh my god. How did that happen? Like, I just scratched my eye. It's not like I'm going like, you know? Like, no, I'm not doing that shit. I know the effects of that <laughs> when you do that shit. Because you fuck up your eyeball when you do that. I hope you know that. You're actually scratching your eye lids when you do that. Um, I know that because my sister. And they told her that if you keep doing it, you won't see from one eye. It's like, eee. Hey, man. Hey, they're probably lying. Anyways, you know. <laughs> so, going back. This this situation with the with the with the dragon in the book is great, you know. And I'm not gonna spoil you the whole thing of what happens, but it is good, and you should get it. One of the reasons why I did get the book too is because some of the stuff that I heard from from the book when I read um reviews and saw people talking about like breaking down and all that in the book and and also from the movie. And uh, let's uh, talk about some notes here. And these are both, in a way, similar. Well, I'll say this is... Some of these notes right here are connected both to the movies and book. But one is mostly closer to a movie than the book. The rest are probably just from the book. Well, no shit. So, anyways. The second note I have is the giant comes out of nowhere. Like the chaos, energy, big bang that created all. <laughs> Um, I, I put a connection to that, which is true, that uh, when that Big Bang happened, you know, things um, started happening, quote unquote Big Bang, but uh, the body parts everywhere of the giant gets pulled back like the Osiris, it gets pulled back like the Os Osiris story. Now, if you know the o Osiris story, you know that he got chopped up, you know, because of his brother. And his sister slash wife had to, like, find his pieces and put it back together, you know. And it just remind me of that also, you know. And a good example of that, too, is Brighter Chucky. Jennifer Tilly does this, like, Tiffany does the same thing to Chucky in Brighter Chucky to bring Chucky back. Gets all the pieces of him together and shit like that. Because he's been chopped up by... Anyway, yeah, by a brother and by his arch nemesis, Andy Barkley. So, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Um, the other one is carbon people have all the elements in them. We have all the elements inside of us. Making iron, making the iron giant, which we all, we have iron in us because we all, because we, we have iron. Yep, I'll put that there. Don't know what, because always I'm just looking at it. And in the movie, Superman is representing the carbon people, and in the movie, Iron Giant acts like Superman. No, he does not fly in the book. He does not fly in the book. He does fly in the movie, but he does not fly in the book. So, those are the connections I, I pointed out from, because I haven't watched this movie in a long fucking time, so I might rewatch it eventually. So, just to get a fresh take and everything like that. And, I sh and like I said again, these two book, uh, th these two I, um, medias, the book and the movie of Iron Giant, the story basically, can, like, they both have the same message. A whole, uh, things, ha things come to the planet and people, humans, react to it and they react to it by fighting, by warring, these are what these orcs do. And the reason I mention this shit is because you know how they talk about the UFOs. And then all of a sudden they're like, "Oh, we need to take this serious seriously. It's a national threat." That's one of the reasons why I made this video to begin with to talk about that. All right? Look at that. I'm 19 minutes in. 
almost 20 minutes, but this video is almost over. I want to mention that. The reason I mentioned that is because, like, again, watch the, watch the movie and read the book and you will get the message. Just, just, these people know, um, who we are, you know? So, anyways, um, there's tons of stuff with, um, there's tons of things in the book and movie. Like, you do have, like, once they kill, like, once Hold Girl in the movie gets fucked over, um, Iron Giant goes literally rogue and starts blasting and shit, giving you, like, a kaiju experience. So, in a way, it does kind of pay, pay homage to the old Godzilla movies, the movie and the book, um, which makes sense. <laughs> it's funny. To, to make a reference of Godzilla, they made a dragon coming into this book to fight in the military. And this one, they need the Iron Giant finally the military. <laughs> uh, so in a way, I, when, when, I do say this. I was kind of disappointed there wasn't a kaiju fight. Because it, it kind of made it seem that way, that there was a kaiju fight. There's a military fight with a kaiju but there's not an Iron Giant versus Dragon type shit. No. If you want that, watch Ready Player One. That's the closest thing we're ever actually going to get to a to Iron Giant versus a, a fucking dragon. <laughs> Mega Godzilla versus Iron Giant. You know, that's the only thing we, we can... That's the closest thing we could get, you know? That's the only thing I can think of right now. So... So, anyways... That's it, guys. These, this movie and book are very, very important. Very important. And I remember watching videos with my friend about the movie. And it's still relevant to this day. And people should watch it. People should watch it. Especially now when they're talking about UFOs. And all and all of you guys are like, oh. Well, not all of you guys. Not, like, I haven't been seeing people acting like, oh, UFOs. Are, they're just talking about it and everything like that. Like, interested, you know. And other people are like, I already know that and everything like that, you know? And the media is just pushing it as like, oh my god, this is a threat and everything like that, you know? And having them, and have them been, have them, have they been talking it lately more and more? To be honest, they've been hush-hush about it from what I've been finding. They haven't been talking about it lately, but it's still there in the background. You see how it is, guys? Maybe there is new articles, them talking about it still. But from what I'm finding, from what I can find, there haven't been new ones. Just the ones that we already know. You know? So, that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think about what I said in this video. And if you got this book, tell me what, how you feel about this book. Tell me how you feel about this cover, too. I, I like the cover, but it should not be for the novel. It should be something for the DVD or VHS cover for the movie. Not for the book misleading i'm dead serious and then this is a classic i mean they're both classics but this one is a classic in its own right you know but still they're classics and shout out to gravity h because the reason that i'm giving you a shout out man is because when you said that you know these children books and everything like that get them and stuff like that basically well you probably didn't say get them but like you said like look at these children books I was just looking for Iron Giant. I don't know why that came to me. Maybe I know why, actually. Actually, no, I do. The more I think about it, more and more. For kind of loud, just pointed it out to you for kind of fucking goddamn loud. So, there was that. And I got this book, too. You know, so I will go through this in a video, in a future video. Because there's a lot of things in this book. A lot of things. Alright? So... I'll see you guys later. Be safe and take care.